Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another video in my remaking old Tumblr series. Today I'm going to be remaking this Tumblr. Now this is one that I actually never got to finish because I dropped it, cracked the epoxy, broke the seal on my cup, and had to throw it away. So I'm going to remake this and reconceptualize it, update the design a little bit to match my current style and skill level. So that's what we're gonna do today. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it inspires you to create something of your very own. Maybe you copy this design, maybe you take one of your old Tumblr designs and update it and revamp it a little bit. It's always fun to see how we grow over time and how our skills and styles kind of change as we grow in our craft. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already. I upload brand new Tumblr tutorials every Tuesday and Saturday. Okay, I think that's it. I hope you like it. Let's go. <laughs> Just like in the original design, I'm going to be using a 20 ounce skinny straight tumbler from Craft Haven, and I'm going to use the exact same digital pattern that I used on the original. This is from an Etsy shop. I will have linked down below in the description box. I printed out on white water slide paper from Hayes Paper Company, sealed it with two coats of matte clear spray from Rust-Oleum, and I'm getting ready to apply it to my tumbler. So my tumbler is prepped. I just sand it really lightly, then wash it with dish soap and water. With white water slide, you don't necessarily need to base paint your cup. You can if you want it to be a little bit brighter, but I just went right in on the stainless steel. So I soaked my water slide in a, like a pan of, it's like a Pyrex casserole dish, um, of lukewarm slash room temperature water until it was kind of easily sliding off the backing. And that's how you know that it's ready. So once it's ready, I'm going to as you can see here, just gently place it on my cup, starting with one edge, smoothing it on, being really, really careful and gentle here. You don't want to tear your water slide or have anything else happen to it. So just really be patient with this process, take your time, and keep your cup and your water slide wet with either a wet paper towel or your fingers or something to keep it wet. That's going to help you reposition everything, make sure that you get everything in the right place, and it's also going to help you smooth out any air bubbles, wrinkles, and things like that. So I'm going in with my wet paper towel, smoothing everything down. Once I've got the water slide placed where I want it, I'm going to take this silicone makeup brush and go over the entire thing, just brushing out any excess water and making sure that it's totally smooth on my cup. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna take a dry paper towel and just wipe off any excess water that's left on my tumbler, dry everything out as much as I can. You don't need it to be perfectly dry here, you just want it to be dry enough that you can set it aside and leave it for later. So now I'm going to mix the custom glitter mix that we're gonna use on the top of this cup. So I'm gonna take Ruth, which is my collab mix with PDP Creative Studio. Then I'm gonna take Grace and Forever Girl. Also, uh, both of those are from PDB. And then I'm gonna take Wet Incarnation and Wanderlust, which are both from Peachy Olive Glitters. And I'm gonna start out with Ruth. This is named after my grandma. It's one of my favorite mixes I've ever done. I'm gonna take seven and a half milliliters of that one into a cup. And then with Grace, I'm gonna do the same amount, seven and a half milliliters. Next, I'm taking Forever Girl. I'm going to do 10 milliliters of that one. And then next color is Wet Incarnation, which is one of my favorites from Peachy. So I'm going to use 10 milliliters of that one. And then finally, we're taking Wanderlust, and I'm going to do 7.5 milliliters of that color. So I'm going to stir all of this together with a popsicle stick, and there's what the final mix looks like. So I'm gonna set that aside and now I'm gonna work on this middle section here. So in the original design, I had a middle section that was just glittered and then I put my Dalmatian print on the top, but I'm gonna switch things up a little bit here. And I'm gonna put that Dalmatian print in the middle of the cup and then we'll obviously use the glitter mix we just made on the top. So I'm gonna take my ultimate tumbler making tool from Cami Page Boutique. I'm gonna set it, set my cup in there and then use this straight edge to draw a straight line on my cup with a pencil. And that's what I'm going to use as the guide for placing this middle piece of vinyl. So I just cut off, I measured and then cut this by hand. You can also cut it in your machine if you'd like to, but I didn't need this to be a specific size because we're honestly going to cover most of this up with our glitter mix. So I'm not too, too concerned with it. 
I did take a paint pen and fill in this Dalmatian spot that was on the seam just to make everything look seamless. In the end, you probably won't be able to see that anyway, but just in case, I wanted to have it covered. So the decal I have for this cup is going to go a little bit past that line that we just created. So I'm going to spray paint a little bit past this top edge of vinyl here, and then we'll do a little bit of a glitter fade going down into the Dalmatian print. So you're really only going to see a little bit of that pattern, like I said, in the end. So I'm just gonna take some saran wrap to cover up the water slide portion, and then I'm gonna take my base paint. I'm using Alice Pink from Montana Colors. And you can see I just faded that a little bit over that vinyl. I'm going to remove the saran wrap immediately, let this paint dry, and then I'm gonna add a very thin layer of epoxy to my entire tumbler. So I'm using the epoxy method for this glitter application. And I'm gonna take the glitter mix that we created earlier and basically just do a little bit of a waterfall design. So I'm going really, really heavy coverage on the area where we just had plain paint. And then I'm going to fade it out as we get to the Dalmatian pattern. So there's what our tumbler looks like so far. I'm going to let this epoxy cure and then once it's dry I'm going to roll my cup in a piece of like notebook paper to help the vinyl lie down flat and help us not have to do so much sanding later. Sanding is one of my least favorite parts of the whole tumbler making process so I try to avoid it as much as I can. Once I've got my glitter lying flat, I'm gonna go in and seal it with the glitter glue from Crystalat Company. And as I'm sealing, I'm using a kind of stiff brush and I'm pushing that glitter down to make sure I don't have any pokey bits sticking up. So once my glitter is all sealed, I'm gonna move down to the bottom of the cup and finish that off. And I'm going to use some regular blue painter's tape to tape along that bottom edge of our water slide. I am going to try and remove a little bit of the stickiness with my fingers before I lay this down, just in case I don't want anything to get pulled up when I remove this tape. So I'm following that bottom edge of my water slide with my tape, and I'm going to, again, saran wrap my entire cup to protect it from any spray paint overspray. And then I'm just going to paint this a regular solid black. I used flat black from Rust-Oleum. And immediately after painting, I'm going to remove my saran wrap, remove all of my tape, and then set my cup aside, let the paint dry, and then I'll be ready to go in with my first coat of epoxy. I'm using KS Resin Liquidy Split Ultra UV Epoxy. And on this first coat, I'm going to use about 15 to 20 milliliters. You don't want to overload your cups with too much epoxy at one time, so try to keep your coats thinner. Um, after this coat, I added a second one. That one was about the same, about 15 to 20 milliliters. So here's what the cup looks like after the second coat. I did a little bit of sanding on the top. Really don't need to do any sanding on the bottom. Really just focus on that top area where the glitter is. Now we're going to add the striping to the area in between our Dalmatian print pattern and our Dalmatian water slide. And I'm gonna layer two stripes on top of each other. So starting with this rose gold holographic vinyl, this is from TechCraft Craft. I cut this at about 0.25 inches wide, I think, so a quarter of an inch. And I'm using the seam of the water slide to help me place the back seam of this vinyl and I'm just using my little cup cradle to spin my cup and I'm really just holding the vinyl in the same place as you can see there. For the top layer of the striping, I'm using this pale pink vinyl from Craft Haven. I will have both of those linked down below along with a discount code for you. So once I've got the vinyl striping on, I'm gonna go into another coat of epoxy to make sure everything is totally smooth and ready for my decal. I got this Dalmatian SVG on Etsy and I thought it was so cute. We've got a cool Dalmatian with some sunglasses on, just all good vibes in this Dalmatian. So I cut this out of just regular Oracle 651 black vinyl and I'm going to place it on my tumbler. Like I said, it's gonna hang over the edge a little bit of that. I wanted it to kind of look like the Dalmatian spots just kind of continuing down onto that strip that we have in the middle, if that makes sense. So there's what it looks like. And now I'm gonna take a black paint pen, this is a Posca one, and I'm going to trace over all of these Dalmatian spots and color them in, just kind of bring them more to the forefront a little bit. I don't want the glitter to overpower the black spots, if that makes sense. I want them to be like really solid black and not have any glitter or, you know, like this spot for example, had a little bit of spray paint overspray on it. So I'm just gonna go through and trace and color in all of those Dalmatian spots that you can see and kind of just make this look like a continuous thing and not a strip of vinyl underneath the glitter, if that makes sense.
Once that was all finished, I finished off the bottom of my cup with a little logo tag. These are from Mizzy's Doodles and I just attached them with UV resin. So once I had that on and ready, I added my final coats of epoxy. So I did two coats of epoxy over my decal. You just want to epoxy until your cup is totally smooth. And once that was cured, this cup is all finished. So here is the final design. Here is the updated version of this Dalmatian cup that I made forever ago. As a reminder, here's what the original looked like. And I gotta say, I'm a fan of the remake. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And I will see you guys in the next one. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. See you later. Okay, love you. Bye.